So GPT-01 just dropped, and naturally I have to see if it's as groundbreaking as everyone's talking about, especially for game dev. I figured, why not mess around with it in Wonderland Engine and see what happens? Today, I'm gonna experiment with creating a super chill web game. Picture this, a ball. Yep, just a ball. Jumping over buildings. A real masterpiece, isn't it? The goal? Reach the end line without falling flat on its, well, ball self. Sounds perfect. Let's see if GPT-01 can actually pull it off. All right, first things first, I created a new project in Wonderland Engine. Next, I grabbed this ball here to be our fearless player. Added sunlight. Then I grabbed the default cube, stretched it out until it looked like a building, and, brace yourselves, named it Building. Genius. I added physics components to both the ball and the building, made them kinematic so they don't just drop to the ground immediately, because, you know, gravity's a thing. Then I cloned that first building cube. A lot. Now we've got a whole city skyline for our ball to jump over. Finally, I attach the player camera to the ball so we can follow it as it bounces along. Awesome. Now for the fun part, coding with GPT-01. Oh, and by the way, if you're curious about how the previous version, GPT-00, handled things, I've already made a video about that and you can watch it in our channel. So now, I told GPT my genius game idea and let it do its thing. The first thing I noticed, it took a while to respond like it was thinking. Yep, the AI was thinking. We're definitely doomed as a species. Once it was done with its little thought process, it gave me some basic instructions on how to handle the game mechanics. But most importantly, it actually wrote the full code for our ball component. Looks like I might be out of a job soon. All right, next up, movement. I headed to Wonderland Engine and created a ball controller JavaScript component, copy pasted the code GPT-01 gave me and surprise, it didn't work. Not shocking though, GPT's still missing enough Wonderland Engine documentation and was using some old outdated stuff. So I gave GPT the starter template we get when creating a new component in Wonderland, even threw it the documentation URL, hoping it could fetch what it needed. It did a bit better, but still not working. Why? It assumed Wonderland has its own input API. No idea why. Even though Wonderland Engine just uses the good standard JavaScript event listeners. Told GPT that, as apparently it couldn't fetch the documentation from the URL as expected. So I went the rough way and copied the whole documentation into GPT. Then it gave me the new code and also a shout out to the floating copy button. As unlike the past versions, now I can copy the code without scrolling all the way up. And somehow it makes me happy. Movement's working now. Well, kinda. This looks a little fun, however. The problem was that the ball rotates, and of course, the attached player rotates with it. A quick fix? Disable the ball's physics rotation. Boom. Done. Looks much better now. Another issue we encountered was that the ball wasn't jumping when it collided with the building. Despite providing the documentation, GPT-01 missed this collision detail, perhaps because the documentation was quite long. Once I pointed out the problem, it quickly fixed the issue. Voila! We now have a bouncing ball. Let's increase the jump height a bit by change the force to 1000 instead of 10. Okay, that's too high. Let's lower it back. Perfect. Nice! We're now jumping between buildings. Looks super fun! But okay, what's that? We can literally climb walls now? Congrats, we've accidentally created a wall running mechanic. I can fix it by just putting another object around the bottom of the building. But instead, I've better idea in mind that'll make the game even more fun. I want when we touch a building for this building to fall down so that it limits the player to jump only once per building. It's evil and awesome. So I told GPT to do just that and this time it was much quicker. For dramatic effect, I just added torque or rotation force on my own to rotate the building while falling. It looks much better now, falling with style. For the game over panel, I asked GPT to scale the panel to zero at the start of the game, then scale it back to its default size when the player finally hits the object named end building. It did exactly that. All I had to do was reference our game over panel in this component and boom, done. Now for the beautifying phase, I've added sky to the scene changed the colors of the materials, added bloom, bloom is awesome, also added a little emissive to the materials, sound effects, and added a beautiful trail to the ball from Wonderland Engine default components. And now, let's see the result.
Great, GPT-01 is awesome. However, it still needs the direction of a game developer who knows and understand the code to guide it, thanks God. So yeah, to all game developers out there, we're not replaced, yet. Maybe in the next version, maybe? In this little experiment, I believe that it just misses the right documentation and examples. The logic is right, but Wonderland's documentation is missing from its system. I believe if we fed it the documentation with different examples, it'd be able to produce the wanted result even from the first time. If you want to see more fun experiments or even try building some awesome web game yourself, then subscribe and download Wonderland Engine today for free. Also, be sure to join our Discord community where you'll meet awesome game developers there. The link is in the description. See you on the next video.